Good morning, all. Hope y'all's having a good day. Here's an isolation amplifier module from a Fanuc servo amplifier. And it is part number A76L-0300-0193 pound sign A. And we're going to breadboard and test this unit. Let's flip it over to the other side so you can see the pins. Right over here, I'm going to try to do this and stay in the frame. Here is the second two pins for the input. This is pins 8 and 9. Here's the first input, two pins, on pins 6 and 7. Over here, I'm backwards. <laughs> this is pin 1. This is the first output. Pin 2 is the second output. Pin 3, 4, and 5 are for the plus and minus 15 and ground to power up the unit. And uh, at the end of the video, I'll show you my drawings. Now, I didn't have a data sheet on this. I couldn't find a data sheet on the internet. But I reverse engineered the servo amplifier current sense circuit to figure out how to test this. I'm going to place this on a breadboard and power it up and test it. I placed the isolation amplifier module on the breadboard with wires to connect plus and minus 15 in ground the 0.5 ohm resistor used for the feedback input and the fluke oscilloscope to view the output waveform. Now, I have a 0.5 ohm 20 watt resistor here with the power supply capable of producing 5 amps through that resistor. Positive on this side of the resistor and ground of the power supply on this side of the resistor so that current from the power supply here will flow through that resistor producing a voltage across that resistor which is fed into the two pins of the first input. Now the fluke oscilloscope is looking at the first output. There are two inputs and two outputs on this unit right here. Let's power up the system. We have plus and minus 15 volts applied to the isolation amplifier module. And I'm going to increase the voltage across the resistor. Now we have about one, two, three volts roughly across the resistor and we have two amps through the resistor creating a voltage on the input of the isolation amplifier module. And here we have gone from ground up to almost 9 volts. 8.8 .8 volts right here. Let's decrease that voltage and current. Now we have 0 volts across the resistor, 0 amps through the resistor, and we have 0 volts on the fluke oscilloscope. Increase back up to 2 amps through the resistor and roughly 3 volts across that resistor and we have 9.2 volts. Let's reverse the leads. But first, let me get you closer to this scope so you can see what's going on. Get a better picture of the output waveform of that FANUC isolation amplifier module. Give me a sec to move the camera. 
Now the waveform is going to go in the positive direction because we have not swapped the leads from the 5 amp power supply. So we're still going positive. There's 3 volts across the resistor, 2 amps through the resistor, and you can see that we have gone positive up to peak 9.2 volts DC it looks like. Let's go back to 0 volts and 0 amps across and through that resistor. Now I'm reversing polarity on that feedback resistor and let's see which way we go now. Again, there's 3 volts across the resistor and 2 amps through the resistor. And now we've gone negative, about 9 volts peak. I'll go back to 0 volts across the resistor and 0 amps through the resistor. And we've risen back up to ground. Isn't that fascinating? That is fascinating. Now, again, when I get to the house, I'll show you my drawings and my hookups so that you can test your FANUC isolation amplifier module removed from a servo amplifier unit. Thank you folks for stopping by. I always appreciate it when you come over to see what we're doing next. We do quite a few fascinating things around here. And I hope uh, that someday I'll be working on something that you're working on. And together we'll be able to fix it. Starting to get dark outside, so we got to kind of hurry up with this explanation of testing the FANUC isolation amplifier module, and that's this device right here. Now, up here is the IGBT inside that FANUC servo amplifier, and also inside that FANUC servo amplifier unit are two resistors 7.7 .7 milliohms 7.7 .7 milliohms they are in series with the U to the motor and the V to the motor the W to the motor does not have a resistor in series with the output to the motor Across these two resistors, we take those to the input of the FANUC isolation amplifier module. This first resistor goes to terminals 9 and 8 on that module. The second resistor goes to terminals 7 and 6. Now when current flows through these two resistors, a voltage is generated across those resistors that is fed into that isolation amplifier module on these two points right here. Pin 1 is the output, the voltage output of these two pins input. And pin 2 is the output of these two inputs right here. On pin 5, terminal 5, 3 and 4 are the supply inputs to power up this module. Pin 5 is plus 15 volts DC in. Pin 3 is ground, 
and pin 4 is minus 15 volts DC. Let's go look at the hookups to perform the test. Now for the hookups to perform the test, here we have a 0.5 ohm 20 watt resistor connected to this external power supply that can provide 5 amps before shutting down. Looking across into pin 6 and pin 7, VN1, VN1. The output of the isolation amplifier module for this input is on pin 1. And we connected an oscilloscope probe referenced to power supply ground on pin 1 so that when the voltage across this resistor went up the output went positive. Then we reverse polarity so that we had positive down here and ground up here with current flowing in the opposite direction and the output on pin 1 went negative. To perform the same test on output 2, we connected the external power supply to pins 8 and 9 across that same 0.5 ohm 20 watt resistor. So that when the output here increased across that resistor, output 2 increased. And again, when we reverse polarity, so that we had positive down here and ground up here, current flowing in the opposite direction on 8 and 9, so that the voltage polarity switched across that resistor, output 2 went negative. Now pin 5, 3, and 4 are the power supply connections to power up that isolation amplifier module. Pin 5 is plus 15 volts DC. Pin 3 is ground. And pin 4 is minus 15 volts DC. Again, from an external power supply. This is it. Power supply 1. And this is power supply 2. There you go, folks. Not too difficult. The hardest part was reverse engineering that circuit so that we could figure out what these pin connections perform on that isolation amplifier module. Good night, all. We'll see you when the sun comes up.